Welcome to round two of the third season of the Pauper Gauntlet. We are now in double elimination. Playing only the decks that lost in the first round of the Pauper Gauntlet. Pauper Gauntlet is brought to you by MTG Tickets. Check them out in the link to the show notes. First deck out today is Burn, which received second place in the second season of the Pauper Gauntlet. And here we are facing elimination. Oh, it's Roberto. Right, I want to play first, so let's uh, take him out. Roberto will not bring burn down. He mulligans to six, which is good. We have only nine damage, he mulligans to five. This is kind of a questionable keep, but this deck does not mulligan well. Hopefully he plays a creature that I can see in blaze now. <laughs> oh, well, I do have the land, so I'm gonna play another one. It would be good to crush uh, Roberto here. He's sort of my standard pauper sensei. And it's always good to beat up your sensei. But he is not a bad player, so everything has to go right. Okay, can't play any more lands now. I need the Searing Blaze activations. So hopefully he finds a creature. This deck is 0-3 against Burn. Oh yes! Let's take him out. Let's save Burn. And see Burn again in... Round three. Yeah, this is why I hate needle drop. I hate it so much. Because it's a horrible top deck. So I, now I have to choose between No, I have to kill two creatures. O3 against Burn. So if he gets his first win against Burn here, that will hurt. What a weird hand. There is my Flame Rift. I guess I'll play it. And then I can needle drop. Feeling good. I have zero reason to play this. Do I? I could draw a needle drop. So I can play searing blaze, searing blaze, needle drop. Next turn, okay. Please play a creature. He does have crows and tusker, so eventually there will be a target. Please play a creature, Roberto. Do it. Play the creature. You know you want to. Please don't have life gain. So, Sultai something. Please don't play Blastoderm. That would suck. I know Roberto is a Blastoderm aficionado. Because he's the Blasto Blastoderm. He is protected from both friend or foe. He's the Blasto Blastoderm. I see a target creature ahead of me. Can I now target this twice? That seems wasteful, doesn't it? But if I draw a bolt, I will try to. Yeah, that should work if I 
retain priority. Um, but I am gonna play this, searing blaze the hell out of it. Play the curse. Kill him the slow way. Yeah, not confident here. Will Burn make it to round three of the Popper Gauntlet? That would be awesome. The runner up deck from last year, losing only to Stompy in the two man rounds. Videos are available in the Popper Gauntlet playlist. Check them out. Pretty epic matches at the end. These two decks followed each other for several rounds with no other decks left. Just winning, winning, winning. But at that point I did not draw six mountains. That's not what you want to do. We have two forgotten kids. Oh, it's Mr. Gurmagangler. Mr. Searing Blaze Target as I like to call him. Oh, he's actually super dangerous for burn, but not now. There will be a day he will be super dangerous for burn, but it is not that day. Not this day, sorry for screwing that up. Yeah, burn, Roberto, just burn. Just die. <laughs> oh, how sweet. The taste of victory. Okay, what the hell do I do now? Uh, teaching Stompy... <laughs> yeah, well Pyroblast should be pretty good against people playing compulsive researches and stuff. But I don't want to be countering things. Uh, that's not why we're here. And every Pyroblast is less damage. Uh, we're not gonna see a circle from him, we're not gonna see artifacts. We could go Molten Rain on him, but it seems kind of far-fetched. You know, one thing I like here is that everything is so cheap in the deck. Curse should be good. If he defends against Curse, there's a lot he can't defend against. Oh, his cards might very well be useless. I think I'm not changing anything. And if he is resolving Muldrifters and stuff, Pyroblast won't save him. It's better to kill him before he can do that. I think my Pyroblasts are mainly for... Well, I do Cyborg in against Teachings for some reason. But uh, I think they're mainly for Delver. And Familiars, of course. Uh, so let's do this without the sideboard. I hope you agree Galactic President, the captain of Burn. Otherwise put dirty midrange decks in your sideboard plan. This is a sweet hand filled with red love. The best kind of love. So I'm gonna go Spike, Keldo Marauders, because he could easily dirtle around for the first turn. Oh god, that sucks. That's cheating, sir. Cheating! Okay, what does it take? Probably Fire Blast. Because it does the most damage, but he takes the curse, and at this point, it is perhaps the curse that would have done the most damage. So that makes kind of sense. I am gonna last by him. And this is, if the Keldon Marauders can strike, this is 15 damage in hand. But that's a pretty tall order. Against the midrange deck that is surely packed with Shainish Edicts. But then he has the conundrum if he should cyber them out or not. But if he has sideboard in him, oh. okay, there goes the fire blast. I 
I would be surprised if it took anything but Fire Blast. But double duress is a pretty good start against Burn. Now he either has to gain life or put me under clock. Otherwise I will just win anyway. Why is he hesitating? He's taking the lightning bolt. That's not what I would have done. But this guy is no yoke, so he might very well be doing the right thing. Please strike him hard and true Keldor Marauders. Do it. No Shainish Edict. That is not the Shainish Edict. Okay, if Keldor Marauders gets to do 3 damage, it is a joyful occasion. Oh wow, he did it. You did it, Keldor Marauders. Okay, I'm just gonna lava spike chain lightning here. He doesn't have two red, always useful to check for that. And we are close to killing him, but we don't have three damage in hand. And will we fire blast into open blue mana? We probably will not. Because uh, that's very dangerous. He doesn't have an island, so we don't have to fear days, but uh, I know Roberto well enough to know that he is not packing days here. Crows and Tusker cycle. Oh, it very much looks like a pyroblast here, or a hydroblast. And I would be very reluctant to, to fire blast him without extra mana. But I'm in no hurry here. He is not creating any hurry yet. Bye bye, Keldo Marauders. You did well, so well. I'm proud of you. And then that stupid card. Did Keldo Marauders do damage or was it loss of life? It was damage. We get the land for the Searing Blaze, but we are not playing it yet. Yeah. I could have gone for Searing Blaze at the end of turn Fire Blast if he tapped out. But I am reading him for a Hydro Blast here. If he just goes, Maldrifter is dead and he knows it. So that's not going to happen. It's Gurmangangler leaving one blue mana up. But now I just have to draw another three damage spell. And this is all over. But I do not. I do, however, draw extra mountains so I can do the fire blast. But I'm in no hurry to do that. He's trying to kid me here, but the good games means that I will try it. And if it was a mind trick, it was a very successful one, but it wasn't. Thank you for watching and Burn is now in round three of the Gauntlet.